Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. In this video here, I'm going to show you how you test this harness that's inside your uh, your charging station tower. Uh, it's funny, you know, I refer to this as the tower, they refer to it as a housing, I refer to this as a harness, and they refer to it as a loom. So, whatever terminology you want to use for these two parts, this is the replacement harness slash loom for inside here. Um, so the reason why I want to show you this is because if you have a problem with your charging station, let's say you have a no loop error or you have a problem where it, it's something to do with not getting enough power through everything, you want to test this, this harness inside here, before you just jump to, oh, I need a new circuit board because this is much less money than a new circuit board. <clears throat> not that, <laughs> not that the circuit board can't be the problem, but it's always good to check this because if there's a possibility of saving money and it's not going to cost you any money to see if you can save some money, why not do it? Now, if you open your, your charging station up and this plug right here is melted into the bottom of your circuit board, well, obviously you need a new circuit board and you need a new harness. But all you have to do to check that one of these, that one of these harnesses is still okay and working properly is uh, do a resistance test. So you get yourself a multimeter, set it to the ohm scale, and you're just gonna measure the resistance from one end of the wire to the other. So like here, let's let's check this brown wire. Well, we'll go with this white one right here. So we're gonna put one probe in the end of the wire, and then we're gonna find the other end of the wire where it's in this connector here, and we're just gonna test it, and we should have we should have one ohm or less of resistance through that wire. There we go, we're at 0.9, so we're good. Everything's working good, well, actually 0.8, we can get 0.8 if we wiggle around in there. Um, so everything's good, that means that this end is crimped on here securely, there's no corrosion, there's no oxidation going on there, you're, getting good, you're gonna be able to get good current through this wire from one end to the other and that's what you want now on your on your housing here your tower obviously this one's out of the uh out of the tower um what i like to do is i like to leave the wire connected because inside here you can disconnect them i like to leave the wire connected to the terminal where you connect your boundary wire and your guide wires and measure from here through because that way I'm I'm killing two birds with one stone. If I can test this from here through this plug and everything's good, that means I don't have an issue with corrosion or oxidation stopping power from getting through here or on the inside here. So again, all you got to do is take one probe, stick it here on the uh, the terminal on the outside. I just push it right into the the hole there on that that male spade terminal. Push that right in there, like so, and then spin this around here. Get our meter up here where you can see it. And this is the brown wire, so we're gonna find the brown wire here in our harness. And what we got? We're at, there we go, 0 0.9. 0 0.9 ohms, so we are good the whole way from this connector all the way through to the outside. We have no issues there. And you just do that with all the different wires going through there to make sure everything's good in the harness. Also do that with your positive and negative wires here where your low voltage cable connects. Just check the plug out there coming through to this plug. If when you were doing that from the terminal out back here where your boundary wires and guide wires connect to and you have higher resistance than one ohm, then all you gotta do is simply disconnect the wire in here, pull that off there. And then you go back to checking from one connector, or from the the connector on the end of the wire to the one in the, the plug here. And um, you get your, your 0.9 ohms, uh, 0.8 ohms. So you know that that's good. But if you had a problem where say this was like 1.2 or something when you measured from the, the connector on the outside all the way through, then you'd want to clean up your connection here where this wire plugs into this one and clean up your the outside here, your terminal outside here, and then test it again to see if that drops down because that could be your issue right there. Something as simple as that. And again, this 
This harness is way less money than a new circuit board. And, you know, this goes the same way for testing your guide wires, your boundary wires, the positive and negative wire there coming in through. Doesn't matter if it's a 400 series, 300 series, 500 series. You can do that with all of them. Simple as that. Now we have these harnesses, the replacement harnesses. They're available on our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. You can also get this whole assembly here that comes with the harness. It doesn't come with the stuff on the back, but it comes with this harness right here and the housing. Uh, also available on our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. That's going to do it for this video here. As always, if you need automowers, automower parts, automower accessories, technical support for your automowers, start by visiting our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Can't find what you're looking for there. Shoot us an email, or you can contact us through the website, but you can shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we'll try to get you fixed up with whatever it is you're looking for or whatever you need to get your mower back up and running as quickly as possible. Um, as I said, that's going to do it for this video here. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, and thanks for watching.